Well, I do hope that, you know, that report would urge you to spare thought for the less privileged in society, especially here in the Federal Capital Territory, even as we uh, try to reach to see what exactly it is that we can do to ensure that we have a better city and a better society. But I understand now that there is some positive news. Chamberlain Uso is in the studio in Lagos. Chamberlain, welcome. How did it go on the road today? Well, it's still pretty tough out there. Uh, I mean, uh, at the moment, it's... Uh, I mean, we're going to get a word now from Bisikazim. It's uh, not exactly easy. It's chaos, chaotic out there. But they're trying to do what they can to ensure the traffic flows. And as we on the way here, you can see that there are so many people just uh, taking the laws into their hands and violating any possible rule that they can. But we've seen, we did see some officials on the road there. We stopped by, uh, took a look ourselves before continuing the journey here. But Let's get across now and uh, to Mr. Bisikazim. He did send that advisory, uh, which lots of people do have now. He joins us via phone this morning to give us an update. Good morning, Mr. Kazim, and thank you for joining us today. I mean, many woke up to that chaotic scene this morning, uh, the great lock on that road. Could you tell us what is the current situation now? Uh, thank you, Shabali. Uh, like I did say in the morning, the, it was a little bit uh, empty. But thank God, the one at uh, Oste Dollar is resolved. Uh, we have been able to push the vehicle to the out shoulder so that the vehicles can uh, continue their journey. Are you talking about the, the, the one that exploded and caught fire? No, 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 no. The, I'm talking about the truck at uh, Oste Dollar. Okay. That is uh, by Vega, uh, on Vega Bridge. That one has been moved to the out shoulder. And vehicles are moving, though slowly. But the one by Oak Creek, the one that caught fire, like I told you, affected two other vehicles. Uh, the vehicles are still burning. And, uh, you know, we have to be very careful uh, so that it won't cause uh, havoc. So the fire service, Lasema, Trees, and uh, men of FRSC are on ground, uh, make, uh, making sure that uh, the fire subsides before it could be uh, moved off the road. Okay, but what... what... The, the vehicles are still there. What we also saw on our way here is that there's usually, and as it happens on a lot of roads uh, in this country, when these kind of incidents happen, people just stop by and they're watching what's going on rather than proceeding. Are your men doing anything to ensure that they urge them to move on so that they don't cause more gridlock trying to watch and observe how or what's going on on the road? Yes, and you, you, you just have to realize that uh, as we, we, the first thing is to remove obstruction and to make the traffic move. And uh, we've been doing a lot of enlightenment on this, making sure that you sensitize people. It is even very dangerous for you to stay around uh, either a crash vehicle or an obstructed, I mean, obstruction. I mean, so another crash could happen and you could be affected. So we always ask people to keep on moving. As we are passing the traffic, move. Because the moment you stop there, you are equally, uh, uh, I mean, affecting the traffic. So we, we, a lot of people, we've mobilized enough people now. You know, it started around 4.30 mm -hmm. uh, in the morning. But a lot of people are there now moving the traffic and asking passers by to move. And then both lanes now have been taken over by those who are going out toward Lagos. What are you doing about uh, that? Uh, like I told you, we have to move traffic to the other side. If we allow the gap, I mean, the traffic to be jammed, then we won't be able to, to move any traffic at all. So what we did uh, then was to have the outward Lagos, we have to move it to uh, a, a inward Lagos. So that, but now, like I told you, we've been able to move the other vehicle, uh, I've been off to the offshore, I mean, I should, and now the vehicles are moving on the street journey. But, you know, lawlessness on the part of, it's actually a, a problem. A lot of people will not wait, they won't be patient, they just uh, crisscross and move to the other lane. Then we're trying to sort it to sort out now. Well, uh, and we, we're thinking of even having a situation where we have mobile courts around such areas so that the moment it happened, then people could be jailed and uh, maybe the, the, the citizen. But it's almost as though this is a pattern. When you enter the last three, four months of the year, you find these kind of scenarios going on. What do you think is the cause and what's the solution? Uh, you should realize that uh, when we talk about embalming, there's always an uh, upsurge in uh, both vehicular and human traffic. It is, it is uh, natural. 
And apart from this, you should, this year is compounded with the uh, construction work going on. And it is better for us to have uh, the patients so that the, the, the uh, construction work will, will, will uh, be effected and then at the end of the day, we will all laugh. But by and large, it is just that around this unit time, you see a lot of uh, women and uh, upsurge, you know, man and uh, vehicular traffic. So what, what do people do? I mean, um, I know that the Minister of Works of Power did also speak about uh, that the work there will be concluded soon. You want to remind us in terms of when that may likely be? You know, we are ahead of work in the new we don't know exactly where it But we are in touch. Ours is to make sure that traffic moves and uh, to alert the, uh, uh, the motoring public on the possible areas of uh, difficulty and to avert it. All right, we, we thank you for talking to us this morning. We'll always get across to you to get uh, more updates so that people can uh, plan properly today. Thank you, Chairman. So there you go. Um, if you've got no pressing need, no very urgent need to be along that Lagos Abado Expressway, you know what to do. Just avoid it. And I know that the tailback that it causes will also have its effect, not just in Lagos, but into Lagos as well. But the important thing is uh, ensure that you plan. Mark, we'll be back in a moment, uh, everyone, and we'll also take you through what the front pages are saying. Don't go away.